Hi, everybody. I'm Dr. David Granite, and welcome to Health Matters. There's an important topic that we need to talk about today. It's a topic of depression, and it's one that's pretty serious, one that's very important, and one that touches millions of people every day right here in the United States. We brought on today an expert who we've had on many years ago, uh, and we were joking before the show that we've both gotten a little more gray and older. And, you uh, have. Uh, oh, no, <laughs> I didn't say I, I did. Uh, this is uh, Dr. David Feifel. Uh, welcome, David. Thank you. Um, Dr. Feifel, <laughs> Dr. Feifel is a professor of psychiatry here at the University of California, San Diego, where he's also founder and director of the Center for Advanced Treatments for Mood and Anxiety Disorders, uh, which uh, is why you're here, because you are really just a... Um, one of the top experts on this. So, and, some new stuff on, on the horizon. Um, there's a, a drug ketamine that's been repurposed. Right. Uh, when, I, when I was preparing for the show, I learned something <laughs> that, that, that I, I didn't know before. Right. Uh, tell us about ketamine. Yeah, well, ketamine is really uh, a, 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 a very exciting uh, development in our field and, and sort of an exception to the, to the bad news I was telling you about with regards to the antidepressant medications. It's, uh, it's a medication that's been around for a, an awful long time since the, the improved in the, in the 60s, used, as, as you know, every day in, in, in medical centers like ours, uh, you know, uh, as an anesthetic. Uh, it's used uh, uh, for treating pain. But it was discovered um, not too long ago that at much lower doses, it had a remarkable ability to, um, uh, you know, basically eliminate depression in people who have not responded. Those, the, the, that group of people who I was alluding to who have been through the, the regular conventional medications and therapy. And it doesn't very quickly quickly. So uh, we're... Uh, and does that feel magical to you a little? It does, because, you know, uh, I've been in this field for a long time, and uh, one of the things that we are not used to having uh, some, uh, something or being able to say to a patient, if this works, you know, you're going to feel better in 24 hours. <laughs> it's just not part of our vocabulary. And here, um, the, you know, we, we can start saying but it, but, but But generally, it, uh, the, the, the effect of a single, you know, ketamine uh, treatment, whether it's intravenous or intramuscular, um, because we tend, tend not to give it by, by, by the oral route because it's not as effective, um, you know, is a matter of days to weeks. So, so um, the, the, we're, uh, the field is now uh, uh, trying to sort out how we can uh, extend the duration yeah. because then it would really uh, manifest the potential of this drug. However, having said that, I have uh, patients who have really not responded to anything and are getting ketamine treatments on a maintenance basis for anywhere from uh, every two weeks to every six weeks. And it, you know, it's, it's changed their life. It's allowed them to live a full you know, life depression-free as long as they get the booster shots on a regular basis. Yeah, and, and you can imagine the future science behind that, looking at combining that with other things. Exactly. So, you know, what, does that break the cycle and allow psychotherapy and or these other drugs to Correct. take effect, et cetera, et cetera. Right. There's a lot of work still to be done. There's a lot of work still, and one of the exciting things is that, that, that the ketamine works through a, a, a chemical signal in the brain that's completely distinct from all the ones that uh, we have uh, uh, been pursuing with our antidepressants. So it's really, you know, um, uh, a standalone, uh, you know, Separate. mechanism. That, and that tells us that, there, that, that there's a whole new uh, you know, potential science here to exploit and develop drugs based on ketamine's mechanism that might have solved some of the problems like the, the short duration.